Hello, bonjour, comment ça va? Today we're talking about the Oculus Quest version 18.0 update. Let's go! Welcome to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of VR. My name is Lazius K, and a couple of days ago, Oculus have released the 18.0 update. Let's just hope that all the bugs from version 17.0 have been fixed. In today's video, we'll highlight all the key points, but if you want to know all the different bug fixes, go to the description below the like button, where there's a link to redirect you to the official Oculus developers page. So one of the changes that they've made is enable people to access the universal menu directly inside an app so you don't have to quit the app then go back to the universal menu. A new feature called VR Tooltips has been introduced which will basically enable us or especially new people to get to know about all the different tips and tricks as you progress along your VR experiences. Apparently typing has been something that a lot of us perhaps complained about. So what they've done is introduce predictive text. So when you're typing, it will actually suggest the word or the sentence for you. Sometimes I'm not quite sure who provides them these suggestions, but apparently a lot of us have been complaining about the color of the Guardian's boundary. We don't want it red. We want it yellow or green or blue or purple or whatever color we want. So we will be able to access this from the Guardian settings and change the Guardian boundaries color. But personally, I think there are more important things to look at and I think all these kind of changes can actually cause more bugs but there you go you can change it if you want to. So they made some changes to notification but I want to focus more on the social aspect because they've introduced the ability to invite friends into your VR experience via Facebook Messenger. I really like the fact that they are trying to promote more multiplayer and the social aspect because that really is what's going to prepare VR to the next level. So the voice commands is now available to all US English speaking users and you'll be able to find in the quick actions voice commands. So now you can use voice commands when you're typing and all these kind of things. I personally haven't tried it yet but I'm looking forward to trying it out in the future. Similarly to the unboxing video that I did about DPVR using the Oculus Quest as the voice of Siri, do go and check out that cool video below in the link description. Basically, you can say something and something will happen, a bit like Alexa. So for example, if you say take picture automatically during your app experience, it will take a screenshot. You can say turn off and your Oculus Quest will power off or you can say start casting and then automatically it will start to record video. So that's pretty neat. So in today's update, there's no mention about Oculus Link. So I do hope that when we play, especially Steam games, it doesn't just suddenly stop or when we go from Link back to Quest and Quest back to Link, you know, we can actually start to see the image and there are no issues so we're just gonna have to take a wait and see approach. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really appreciate your support. Remember to hit the like and subscribe, share some love so that you and I together, we can grow the community and help as many people as possible in virtual reality because at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. All right, until next time, take it easy, stay safe. And as always, DJ, take it away.